Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. With me today, Alan Smith. Welcome to today's game. Our match today is Wolverhampton Wanderers against Millwall. Wolverhampton Wanderers. I know they've been working hard in training after that away loss in their last game against Brentford. Yeah, the 2-0 defeat, a bit worrying. It was a bit worrying with the way that they defended. They'll be disappointed with it. Uh, determined to improve today, and uh, I think this is a winnable match for them. Well, they needed a new goalkeeper, and here he is. Yeah, it's obviously a position of uh, big responsibility. But this lad, I think, is capable of filling the ball. One thing to look out for from this team today is the way they try and win the ball back within seconds of losing it. Yeah, and they don't do it individually. They get backed up by a teammate. They hunt in packs, and you've got to do that. You've got to do it with discipline. Millwall will go like this into this fixture. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required. I think so, if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park, that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield. Referee uh, satisfied everything's OK, and off we go. And Dyer. Now Doherty. Trying to switch on the attacking. That is one of the great saves. Had no right to stop that. Had no right to get a hand on it. What a stop. It's good work between these two. Good defending. Well, you have to play it the way you're facing sometimes, even if you're facing your goalkeeper all that distance away. Here's Williams. There's some potential in this move. Opening them up with a through pass. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Striding forward purposefully. A space to get the cross in. Delivered into the box. How did he save that? Uh, he's one of the best in the business for most kind of situations. Absolutely brilliant. And in it goes. A decent fist away by the keeper. Comes in strongly. Gregory. Taking on the defenders. Definitely a throw in there. Doherty. He's got some room out here in the wide position. Return pass. There's a target at the front post. He comes out off the goalkeeper. Defended well. And it's going to be a throw here. Diogo Jota, but whether they're being forced back or whether they're just doing this as a tactic, it's hard to understand at the moment because they're... This might be it! It's a good goal for them! And they have been playing well. No one can really complain about them taking the lead here. They have been much the better side. And it's a fine piece of finishing. couldn't miss from there. Well, the keeper had no chance. And we 
can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. He's not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that, but his players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. Wolverhampton Wanderers have this lead. Now Williams coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. Can Andrew Vance, that's Andrew Vance, please meet your wife at the steps of the main stand. He's come out for a throw. Williams it's Jota lovely incisive pass needs to stay cool now trying to pick out someone in the center and in he goes with the tackle he's had a go here two now took the chance nicely and that really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this match the side that has the form and indeed you would think the better players are doing well at the moment they've got a goal and they're beginning to boss proceedings yeah they're moving the ball about better martin certainly getting good delivery in from those wide areas the much stronger side Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers, number 26. Neatly intercepted. On to the attack now. Oh, it could be on. They stopped him in the nick of time. Well, there is an injured player, and the, the teams haven't put the ball out. It is the referee who has called a halt. Substitution for Millwall. Coming off the pitch, number three, James Merrill. While the injured player has gone off, we're going to get the game restarted with a drop ball. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. On the move and able to cut out the pass. It's good to know how much longer there is. This wasn't always the case, certainly when I started commentating. We've got two added minutes. Just a heavy touch, the opposition could take the ball away. Well, that's half time, and 2 0 is the score at the halfway mark. So here we are at half-time, it's been a good watch so far. <laughs> Whistle from the referee. And we're off and running again for the second half. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. It's a good cross. He put it out, it's gone out for a corner. Corner's taken. Put away, but not out of harm's way. Diogo Jota. Let's give you some transfer news. It involves Liverpool, who have confirmed that this deal is completed. Yeah, well, they've had to put the money in the pockets, uh, about 50 million quid, which um, I don't think that's an outrageous figure for somebody of his quality. It is all about the team, not the individuals, but forwards are the most individual players in many ways, certainly single-minded, and he's got himself a goal, and 
he'll be happy tonight. Yeah, well, the fans are happy with his contribution, and, and why not? He's played really well. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. On the attack here, it's good play until they got that challenge in. Well, down on the touchline, getting uh, the detail. Free kick given. Well, there's still time to hit back in this game, and they're going to try and do it with a substitute. And Dyer. It's Ings. Made the challenge well. Wallace. Gregory. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. And Dyer. There's some potential in this move. And it's Williams. Gregory. Proper tackle that. Wallace. And Dyer. Attacking well here. Steve Morris. Good piece of tackling there. Played away, well away from goal. They've lost the ball, and the counter-attack could be there. And Dyer. Here's an opportunity. In with the header, and the goal! Well, for all of you who love seeing headed goals, I do, for sure. I know Alan does. What a good example this was. He's always on the move in the box, this lad. And we know he's a fine header of the ball. He showed it there. That is a great goal of its type. Perhaps don't see as many as we used to of it, but the cross made the header so possible. Yeah, it is still one of the, the best sights in football, and I think supporters enjoy it. Spectacular header. It is going to be a change here, and it looks like a strategic one. One team really on their game today, the other very off-colour. Now Williams. Gregory. On to the attack now. It's a good place to win the ball here. advantage here the referee stopped it for offside well they've decided to make a change there's activity down there amongst the substitutes and one will be coming on he's got the goal here from a long way out and he's hit the target oh my word to get the power to get the accuracy from that distance out it's just absolutely amazing superb shot wonderful result for him wonderful power it's a regal strike well, they just stood off him as if to say, go on, have a crack, and he did. What a finish that was from long range. From the moment he hit it, you can see he knew it was going in. Well, I know this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape, and boy, is it getting results out there. Little surprising that it is as one-sided as this late in the game but the team leading deserve the margin of what's going to be a very comfortable victory. Sometimes being a favourite in a match can weigh heavily, expectation and all that. It's not a problem for this team, is it? No, I think their manager will be delighted because they've not uh, taken it easily at all. They've given respect to their opponents, but they've shown the class too.
Can't keep the ball at the moment. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Wallace. Good defending. Shot on! It is a goal for them. And all credit to them for not lying down and just letting this game pass by them. And here he was, faced by the goalkeeper. That was the challenge. In you go. Easy as you like. It looks easy, doesn't it? But I can tell you it's not. You have to be at the top of your game to try it and to convert it. So we restart again. 4-1. Number 20, Steve it's not a goal Madison. that's going to count too much except in the personal locker of the player who scored it. Um, but for the supporters, I suppose they've seen their team notch again. It's all over. And there is the final whistle. They never let up, did they? They kept on going to make this a very big margin of victory. Yeah, they were ruthless, actually. Quite often, last 10 or 15, you, you ease off, but this team didn't. English Football League Championship. Aston Villa 2, Brentford 1. Bolton Wanderers 0, Middlesbrough 1. Fulham 1, Cardiff City 2. Leeds United 3, Burton Albion 0. Norwich City 2, Birmingham City 0. Preston North End 1, Barnsley 0. English Football League Championship. Aston Villa 1, Middlesbrough 0. Bolton Wanderers 1, Sheffield United 2. Derby County 2, Ipswich Town 1. Fulham 1, Hull City 1. Leeds United 2, Birmingham City 1. Norwich City 2, Burton Albion 0. Preston North End 0, Cardiff City 0. Queen's Park Rangers 4, Millwall 1. Reading 3, Barnsley 2. Sheffield Wednesday 2, Brentford 1. Sunderland 2, Nottingham Forest 2. Wolverhampton Wanderers 3, Bristol City 1. Now let's see what effect that's had on the league standings. Welcome everybody, Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler. Nice to have you along for the ride. Nottingham Forest in our featured match today against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Wolverhampton Wanderers, very happy with their recent form. Their last game they won against Bristol City. Yeah, 3-1 and uh, they could have had more. Really good victory and I think they'll, they'll follow it up with another one here. Number four, Michael Mancian. Two. Could be his game today, the way he's been playing recently. Two goals in his previous match and two really good ones as well. Number 24, David Vaughan. Number 7, Liam Bridcourt. Number 16, Zach Clough. And this is the way Nottingham Forest are going to go into this match. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. 
Whether they could be a, a fit on the front foot, we'll wait and see. And here is the way Wolves are set out for this vital fixture. One main striker, one probably just off it. How are they going to find attacking routes with this formation? Well, whether they can create through the middle, we'll wait and see. I just think today those two wide lads in midfield are going to be important. Both got a bit of pace, capable of getting around the outside. Enjoy the game. What's this game going to bring us? We'll find out very shortly now, won't we? Because the game is underway. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. And the cross goes towards the far post. And Dyer. In with a chance. Straightforward save for the goalkeeper. Coming, cut it out, good work. It's good play until they got that challenge in. McKay. Murphy. Nottingham Forest on the attack here, looking good. It's very good skill, he's made the defender look a bit awkward there. Wolves with the advantage. Neatly intercepted. Crafting the through pass. And Dyer. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. Shots on here. And that will peter out that attack. It's the goalkeeper's ball quite easily. Diogo Jota. He's got support here. Well, I don't know who the lad saw there passing the ball. Somebody in the crowd, maybe. Well, it's a tough place to visit this, but the away team today come here in good heart, Alan. They've won their last two games. Yeah, they should be in good heart. And, and as you say, it won't be easy, but uh, they're in impressive form. Going to try his luck. Great save by a diving goalkeeper. Corner given. He's put in the corner. Very good distance to the clearance. McKay. Traore. Armand Traore. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Well, the ref says play on. That's a crossing opportunity here. Well, you've got to have a go, haven't you, to score a goal, but the odds were against him from that position. Uh, lost his call a bit there, I thought. It was a really wild effort. Having played the advantage, he's now going back to deal with the infringement that he could have blown for. And the offender's going to get a yellow card. Yeah, I wonder whether he thought he got away with that because the play was allowed to go on, but no, he sees yellow. McKay. On to the attack now. The shot's on! Well, I'll give him credit for having a go, but it was nowhere near the target. Yeah, he took responsibility, didn't he? And uh, he'll be hoping it's a bit better next time. Doherty. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Now, this looks promising. Turn pass. Very skilled. These passes may look easy, but... The uh, work off the ball is very important. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. And it will be their throw. Armand Traore. McKay. Fine play from Nottingham. And shoots! Looked in control, anything but. What a miss. Yeah, he looked so composed, and then to do that, 
His teammates won't let him forget that. Up goes the board. There'll be two added minutes. Two minutes of added time. Shot off! Off the post! Cleared away, well away from goal. And there is the half-time whistle. Nil-nil at the break. Well, the word average comes to mind about his first half. What do you think, Alan? The opposition defence have marshalled him expertly so far. No chances, really, for the lad. Change of ends, and the second half is underway. Vaughan. Here's Jota. And Dyer. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Well, the pressure paying off, it's an aimless clearance. Liam Bridcut, a chance to break away now on the counter. Giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing. Murphy! Absolutely no trouble for the goalkeeper here. Here's Jota. Getting forward well as a team now. Shots on here. The defenders managed to get in the way there. Vaughan. Let's play on for Nottingham Forest. The referee's waving them to do so. Playing the advantage. Got the tackle in. And here's the shot. That's a good block. I don't think there was any doubt from the player's point of view. He wanted to join Barcelona. The clubs have agreed the deal is completed. Well, he arrives with a reputation and a bit of a price tag now around. Tries to punch it away. He's been forced just to knock the ball forward by the press. Into the attacking third. He's going to try his luck. And it is the opening goal of this match. Oh, the fans are loving that one. They've come out here to put on a show, and we're enjoying it. Everybody except the opposition is enjoying this. It's not often when you are allowed to create this many chances, so why not? They'll keep on pushing, I'm sure. He's not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that, but his players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. Wolverhampton Wanderers have this lead. Vaughan. Nottingham Forest on the attack here. Looking good. Strong challenge. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. Gets his cross in. Just take a note of this EA Sports coverage of the EFL Championship fixture for Nottingham Forest. They'll be facing Aston Villa away from home. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one. Looking forward to it. And Dyer. Looking for teammates in the middle. Only partially away from danger. Well, all credit for taking the volley on, but in the end, nowhere near the target. Well, it's a difficult skill, and you get it off a fraction, and that can happen. It goes wide. Well, the manager will be delighted with the way his team have played so far, but he's going to make a substitution here just to uh, hope that he can retain this lead. Good interception. That's good movement forward here. Now to Chris Cohen, and that's good support as they build this attack. Now here is...
is a chance for them. The supporters, Alan, trying to play their part here and lift the home team. Yeah, I think they believe, Martin. The question is, do those players down on the pitch believe as well here? Good defending. Well, it will be a throw. It's gone out of that player there. Well, they've decided to make a change. There's activity down there amongst the substitutes, and one will be coming on. He's coming forward with some danger. Here's the chance. It's a sterling effort from this goalkeeper here to keep his team in the contest. Well, his team haven't been quite at it today, but uh, he came to the rescue. Good stop. Well, Alan, it is the substitution now. He's played really well. He's a thorn in the side of those opposing defenders and took his goal really well. And in it goes. And they get it away. He's got his shot off now. The referee has indicated the will be tackle that. two minutes of added time. Must score! Offside, that's an easy decision. Cohen. And there is the final whistle. And that is a win to cherish today. Oh, most definitely, although they uh, made one or two mistakes at the back, the strikers were good enough to win the spoils. Well, I think he was the best performer in a good team today. Yeah, maybe the difference between the two sides. Really solid, really good performance from him. English Football League Championship. Barnsley, nil. Aston Villa, one. Birmingham City, two. Preston North End, nil. Brentford, one. Reading, one. Bristol City, nil.